Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my new and beauty video for February. This is where I show you everything I received in PR over the course of the month, showing you all the new beauty that has come out or will be releasing. And we have a bunch of stuff to get through because I missed my January new and beauty. It honestly wasn't that much, so I kind of just combined the months. So you didn't miss it, it's just gonna be all in this video. So I'm going to start off with the new releases first, just because I figure you're gonna be more interested in that. And then we'll just move on to the things that I skipped. Lots of great stuff to go through. And one thing that I just like literally 10 minutes ago <laughs> got in the mail that I wanna start with first because I am so excited for this release and it comes out on February 6th, I believe. There's no actual date on the paper that came in here, but I think I've been seeing release date of February 6th, even though some retailers have got it early. This is the new Glow Play blush from MAC. And this is going to be a permanent item. So when it launches and you don't get it right away, you don't have to worry. It's not limited edition or anything like that. There are 11 colors in the line. They sent me four and they retail for $33 Canadian. Starting off with my favorite one. This is in the shade Grand. And you'll tell right away that this is my kind of color. I'm gonna swatch it on my hands, but please disregard my hands. I'm like literally turning red right now because I'm so cold. <laughs> Freezing and that's what happens to my hands. The product comes in this clear component and the formula is like those Maybelline bouncy blushes. I know Bare Minerals, I believe, had a formula similar to this as well, but initially when I saw these, they reminded me of those. I think they were the Maybelline ones, just the consistency, the texture, that bouncy formula. And these are so gorgeous. They go on beautifully and they're just have this sheen to them. All the colors have a sheen. Honestly, the camera does not do these justice in daylight, real life. These are absolutely gorgeous. And I cannot wait to put these on my face. <laughs> I literally just got them in and I wanted to wash my face. Like I wanna wear these. Out of the four that they sent me, Grant is my favorite. I'm definitely going to be purchasing more myself because honestly, I'm really excited for this launch. And then I'm gonna show you the other ones they sent me over as well. Just because if you're like me, you probably wanna see swatches of the colors. Those are all the colors that they sent me. You can barely see this middle shade right there, that's the pink, just because it is very light for my skin tone. So that would look beautiful on those with fair skin but you can definitely see the other one. That's peachy is another gorgeous color to me. And you can see they all have that glow to them. And it's just a beautiful formula. So I highly encourage you guys to go into Mac and check them out. Just see the formula for yourself. You gotta play around with them because they do have that bouncy texture, but they just are so soft, blend out beautifully and have a nice sheen to them. So I hope they play nicely on the skin, but I have seen a couple people use these already and they just, looked so beautiful that I knew for sure I wanted to pick some up. So there's a couple other colors that I'm personally eyeing that I'm definitely going to buy, but those are the ones I have in case you're interested and want to see swatches, highly recommend checking those out. Another launch that I was really excited for, and I know a few of you are also curious of my opinion on this, are the new products from Bite Beauty. I'm thinking of doing a full face of Clean Beauty, unless you guys just specifically want a dedicated video on this. I can do that, or I can just show it and say my opinion and a full face of clean beauty. They came up with two primers, one for dry skin, one for oily. And then they sent me three different shades of the foundation. I'm wearing M70 right now, which is a really good match for me. I initially picked out M65, which I thought would be a really good match, which it is for most days, but for when I self tan, M70 is definitely the way to go if you're similar to foundation colors as me. And then they sent over a couple shades of the powder as well to try. And then down here, they have all their new lipstick crayons. I'm not sure the exact name of these, but I believe these are also new and we have a ton of shades. So I definitely have to try them out. And then they also reformulated their agave lip mask, which is really popular. And I'm curious to see how this compares to the old one. So this is the agave plus intensive lip mask. And if you've tried the new one, let me know your thoughts and if you like it as much or more or less than the previous because I still haven't tried it myself and I'm curious to see what they did to change that because I know everyone loved that. 
and it's like, why would you change a good thing? So it has to be better in my opinion. I'm gonna do a video on that separately so you guys can hear my opinion, but I am wearing the foundation right now in case you're curious. This next package I have here is from Kiss and they have their press on nails and some eyelashes. You guys know I'm crazy about both. Right now I've just been doing gel on my nails so I haven't been doing too many press ons, but they definitely come in handy when I need to throw on something quickly and I need to do my gel nails over again. Like right now I probably should have thrown on some press so this is actually an older package because we have some Christmas sets here. <laughs> See, skip those. This one's really pretty for winter. And I actually prefer the ones that come with the glue over those press-on ones. I actually use the glue on those press-ons because I can't deal with the stickies. It's just not my thing. So these are really pretty. Definitely gonna get use out of those. And then these are some pretty red ones which would be nice for Valentine's Day, which I think I might do. And then we have these blue ones, another gorgeous set, and then these glitter ones. I really love these sets. If you ever come across them at Walmart or wherever, I do much prefer these over the Impress ones, the ones that come with the glue, and they last for about a week on me before they start popping off. And of course the lashes, which are like my favorite thing. I actually mentioned the style chiffon in my favorites. I've been wearing these all the time. I wanted to wear them again today. They're actually kind of similar to what I have on my eyes right now, but much, much more affordable. And then I have the Lash Couture Naked Drama, the Tool, which I've tried before and really enjoyed as well. And then we have the Lacy, which I've also used and like that one too. So if you are looking for a good pair of lashes, you can get Kiss at Walmart. I love the styles they have. I use them all the time. They have some of my favorite styles of lashes ever. Speaking of lashes, takes me to my next package. The Balm actually came out with some lashes, which is so awesome. They look really pretty. And these would be a fairly natural lash for me. So they have the style Paparazzi, which are my personal favorite. And then they have Starstruck. They look fairly similar. This one just looks a little bit more full than this. But I'm really excited to see how the balm lashes are. They look like foam ink lashes. They look really nice because they have that multi-layered effect. They also sent over a couple bestsellers like their Mad Lash and the Schwing Liquid Liner, which is the darkest, most matte black liner still to this day, I feel. It's very, very dark. An eyeshadow brush which I've never used their brushes. And then these are new as well. It's their liquid eyeshadows, which they sent over six shades. I believe there's six in total. And they say they are easy to apply, creaseless, long wearing, and high payoff. I find some swatch better than others and they do take a little bit to dry down. So I'll throw in a photo that I took on my IG stories, but some are definitely better than others and you can kind of tell in the photo which ones kind of perform better. Then Too Faced came out with more of their Lip Injection Extreme Lip Glosses and I absolutely love the clear one. I use it all the time. These do burn though. <laughs> so if you don't like that plumping feeling, the extreme, these are definitely the most extreme that I've personally tried. So they are very, very plumping in my opinion. It does go away, but they do plump up my lips for sure. They, they sting them quite a bit. Honestly, there's not too much difference between them. I'll swatch a couple for you because since they're such a clear base, there's really not that much pigment that would differentiate the colors from each other that would make that big of a difference. So some of them are pretty sheer. I'll still swatch a couple for you just to see, but honestly, this one in Bubblegum Yum just looks clear. <laughs> and then we have Strawberry Kiss, which you can see there is a little bit of pigment, but really you wouldn't need all the shades. So I just decide on one color if you kind of want that little bit of tint to it go that way, otherwise just get the clear. Then Benefit came out with a couple new primers. They sent me over the Hydrate one and it is part of the Professional line. And if you guys have been watching my channel, I've been using this, raving about it, I love this primer. It works so well for my skin. I do have dehydrated skin and I do have pores. So I need to cover those up and this works really nicely because I do have some texture on my cheeks and I can kind of spread this all over my face. The original Professional, I 
could not do that. It was just much too dry. But this one I do feel like is smoothing in a way that I can actually use it everywhere. So I really like this for smoothing out my skin. I think it's a really nice option if you're looking for a new primer. It's been working out really nicely for me. I had the mini, went through that pretty quickly and going through this now. I love it. Then from Garnier, they came out with this bio line. All products are certified by EcoCert Green Life according to Cosmo standards. All our star ingredients come from renewable sources that regrow every year. They use as much recycled and recyclable materials as they can. All their star ingredients are organically produced and most of them are fairly traded with respect for biodiversity ensuring producers receive a fair wage. The products contain no parabens, they're also vegan, and they just have a bunch of different products depending on your skin type. So they sent me over selection to test out. And also this paper in here, you can plant it. It's made up of flower seeds. So I thought that was so nice because a lot of companies, they just throw in recyclable paper, but this we can plant. I just thought that was a cool touch. I'd love to see more companies do that because I'm definitely gonna try and plant that paper. First thing I have here is their Nourishing Facial Mist, and this is with argan oil. Then I have this Organic Time Perfecting Toner, the Anti-Age Daycare, and this is for all skin types, even sensitive. It's a hydrating cream. And then we have a nourishing moisturizer for dry sensitive skin and has argan oil as well. And then we have the Smooth and Glow Facial Oil, which I'm really curious to try. It's a 48 hours of regenerating hydration. So this one really caught my eye and I cannot wait to try that as well as the facial mist because I'm all over those. I'm debating getting the Fenty one right now because it just launched today, the day I'm filming this. <laughs> so I think I might do that after this video. The next product I have here is from NARS and it is their Tinted Glow Booster. They sent me the shade Light. I did use it in a video so you can kind of see it in action, but you could use this all over your face because it does have a tint to it and just kind of wear this as is. Kind of like the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, I think it's called. I love that and this, definitely does have a tint to it. I really like this mixed in with my foundation cause it can kind of correct if something's too dark for me and also give me some glow. So I kind of like the color that they did send me, even though if I were to just get this for all over my skin, I'd probably want the medium one, but the light definitely works to mix in for me. So I thought it was really pretty. I'm gonna just show you this on my hand. So that was just one pump and I would put one pump in all my foundation but you can definitely see it has a tint to it, just evens everything out, provides that glow, and I just think it's a really beautiful product. If you're a fan of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter like me, I think you'd probably really like this. From Buxom Cosmetics, they came out with a lip scrub, and they also sent over two of their powerful plump lip balms. Honestly, don't care for these that much, but I am curious to try out the lip scrub. It has the same kind of component, as those balms do. I just have favorite lip balms. So those ones just aren't ones that I reach for. I'd reach for my Jouer one on an everyday basis and I just wouldn't wear something that thin at night. So that's the only reason why I don't like those because there's just better ones out there. But I'm always curious to try new lip scrubs. I honestly don't feel that much scrub to it. You can see it right there. They're spaced fairly far apart and for a lip scrub, if I were to buy one, I like the e.l.f. one, it's super exfoliating. So I'm gonna test this out on my lips and see, but from just initial swatches, it just doesn't seem abrasive enough, at least for my dry, crusty lips. <laughs> I need something a little bit more abrasive and the e.l.f. one is like a dollar. Then to celebrate the Lunar New Year, Givenchy relaunched these two products and it's their Luminous Matte High Coverage Lipstick. And this is Orange Absolute, which I've had before, and also the Prism Libre powder, which I have also used before. You might be familiar with these two. They're fairly popular for Givenchy. Love that orange shade. And then the powder is really pretty because it has these four quadrants to it with different color tones. So you can kind of 
brighten up your complexion that way. And I got a package from Good Molecules and they're always a favorite to get products from. They're a new skincare brand that is very affordable, very effective, simple ingredients, and I just have absolutely loved everything I've tried from them. So this is actually a priming moisturizer. You can use it underneath makeup and it is silicone free plant derived formula. For the life of me, I cannot find it. <laughs> I've been using it most days and trying to pull it out of my makeup collection right now. It must have fell into a drawer and just fell into the abyss of makeup because I cannot find it right now. But if I do find it before I put this video up, I'll insert a picture of it. I'm sure I'll be able to find it. So this is formulated without silicones, mineral oils, fragrances, alcohols, and PEGs. Fairly good formula for my sensitive skin and it has been working out for me. So I, I do use it. Can't find it though. You know what? I need one last look. You gotta be here. I have a specific drawer for products to use in a coming video. It was there because I set it aside to remember and did I remember? Absolutely not. So that did not work. So here it is. This is what the product looks like and it has a white texture, very creamy, doesn't have that silicone slip, but definitely has a smoothness to it, which is really nice. So I have been enjoying that. Then Catrice Cosmetics sent over a few products to check out. And this came early and I was able to test it out, which was so awesome because I absolutely fell in love with it. And it is their Basic Bay eyeshadow palette. They came out with three, I believe. And you can get it at Ulta or Shoppers Drug Mart if you're in Canada. And this one is perfect for me. It has all my everyday colors that I would use. I've created some really stunning looks with this and I've been using it on an everyday basis when I wanna do eye looks. And it's just so, so pretty. I can't recommend it enough. Super affordable, great quality, long wearing. Everything I want in eyeshadow palette and you can get it at Shoppers Drug Mart. And then they sent over their Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti-Shine Base to check out and they replenished my Dewy Glow Fixing Spray, which you guys know is like my favorite spray right now. So I thought that was so lovely of them to replenish me for that. And to get to check out the palette early was just super cool. L'Oreal came out with the Bambi Eye Mascara and it's a really nice mascara. It isn't my favorite kind of brush. It's one of the rubberized ones, but it does actually work quite nicely. So I have been enjoying that and probably more so than what the box was intended for, for the mascara launch. I really fell in love with these and they are the matte signature eyeliners. They had this black one originally and it's not super, super black, but the real star of these are the colors that they came out with. The burgundy and the blue are actually insane. <laughs> They're my favorite liquid liners of color that I've tried. So this burgundy I've been wearing literally all the time. You guys would have heard me talk about this in a favorites video. So it's probably, you're like, Cheryl, be quiet. We know you like these. They came out with this blue and this burgundy. They're just so stunning, so much pigment, and they dry perfectly matte. So a ton of pigment. I'm just obsessed with them. For colors, usually with colors like this, they'd be a little bit patchy, but these are really nice and super long wearing. They're actually hard to remove even after being on my <laughs> hand for a short period of time. I thought this was super cute that L'Oreal sent over for their Bambi mascara. Cute little Bambi shirt that I wanna put on and wear right now. Why am I shimmying? This was a little bit random. I got a package from Hum. They're a supplement company. I honestly don't take too many supplements, but if you do, they came out with a Mighty Night Helps Overnight Cell Renewal for Skin and Body. It has ceramides, CoQ10, which I've actually heard good things about those. So maybe I'll look into this a little bit more. Ferulic Acid and Valerian Root. I'm probably butchering all those, but it has this cute little eye mask. My son who is six is obsessed with eye masks. So I'm gonna give that to him because he always loses them and then it's like a thing at night getting him to bed without his eye mask. And then Pop Beauty sent over a bunch of lip products. They have six new shades of their permanent pout, long wearing liquid lipsticks. So there's six new colors in here. I wish they had some lighter nudes for me personally, but I'm going to hit myself in the head almost. I didn't know. I'm going to swatch, which one I'm gonna swatch? I'll swatch Butter Babe for you. So that's actually a really pretty color. So that was one swipe, nice and pigmented. Then Pixie sent over a couple packages. 
to start off the year, they sent over my own personalized glow tonic. They do this every year, which I think is so cute. I have to be super delicate and easy with this toner because it works too effectively <laughs> for me. So I could use this maybe once a week and my skin is good with it, but I can't use it like an everyday thing for me because glycolic acid is so good for my skin, but also overuse of it for me personally, I'm very sensitive to acids or anything like that. So. I gotta be careful, but they sent over two small ones that I can have like a, a two from two, which I thought was super cute. And then they have this 20 years of glow package, which has some of their fan favorites in here. Some things I actually haven't tried yet, which I'm really excited for. So we have their rose ceramide cream, another of their glow tonics, their glow mist, which is amazing. My friend Stephanie, Babs Beauty, she got me hooked on that spray, I absolutely love it. A eyeshadow palette, we have their Endless Silky Eye Pen, a matte liquid lip, I like the formula of their liquid lips. And then I'm really curious to try this one. It is their Lip Lift Max Glossy Lip Plumper. You guys know how I love my plump lips. <laughs> and I got this package from Note. Let me know if you guys have heard of them before. I wonder who owns them. But they sent over some of their matte moist lipsticks. Matte moist. You guys know how I love the word moist. All right, so we're going into Note Soft 309. And this is such a pretty color. Like that is a Cheryl color written all over it. <laughs> I love it so much. So I need to try out this formula more on my lips, but that color right there, that's the kind of light nude that I'm talking about that I wish was in that liquid lipstick formula. Cause those are like my everyday shades. If you've tried Note before, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. Also any of these other products. It's always nice going through the comments and seeing little mini reviews from you guys. So let me know if you've tried anything. Then Avon sent over a bunch of products this month. I featured them on my IG stories. This one is probably my favorite and it's just in time for Valentine's Day. They have this lip case which has 50 mini lipsticks in it. And I remember these from when I was a kid. I forget who had these, my aunt, probably not my mom because she does not wear makeup at all. I honestly don't know where I got my love for makeup. I have all brothers and my mom never wore a stitch of makeup. <laughs> I don't know how it happened, really, truly. But anyways, back to this. I just thought this was so nostalgic for me to see these little samples. I just remember these from companies and I love the little case. I just think it's so cute. You can put you right there next to where my lip light used to be that stopped working. I need a new one of those. And then also, I thought these were really cute for Valentine's Day. They have their strawberries and cream bubble bath. Let's see how it smells. I could get up, but I don't want to. What do I do? I have to have something sharp. Where were we? We were smelling this. I'm almost done, I swear. I don't know if I like that smell. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of strawberry scented things. I don't know what it is, except for my Burberry Her, which does have a lot of strawberry in it, but like artificial strawberry, I tend to not like, which is so weird because the Burberry Her is like my favorite fragrance right now. And then the last thing that's in here that I think is so fun are these bath petals. I just think it's gonna be so cute to use those. I'm gonna make a little fun Valentine's Day tub for my kids that day. Falls on a Friday, so I always order pizza on Valentine's Day in the shape of a heart. Have a little pizza party, get them a cute little bath. They'll love it. So I just got two packages that came in time for the video. In here we have the Natural Nudes Complexion Inspired Eyeshadow Palette. And then these are their Complexion Enhancing Highlighting Palettes. And they have four colors here. We have Deep, Tan, Medium, and Light. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the light. It has like that standard born this way packaging, which is so cute. I'm curious to play around with these. I haven't heard anything about them. They are new. So they have this matte powder in the middle that says soft focus. So you have your glow and your dazzle, the soft focus in the middle. So the dazzle has some sparkle in it. The middle is really promising to me and something that I'm curious to try out, but we have the glow soft focus and then that's the dazzle that has the shimmer in it 
and that looks really pretty. Feels slightly dry. Curious to see how it plays on the skin, but I am curious to test these out because I have seen some images of this on Trend Mood, but I haven't heard anyone really talking about those yet. And then we have the Natural Nudes eyeshadow palette, which is a different kind of palette for Too Faced because usually they have those metal tin type things. And this is definitely much more simple and sleek. And those are what the colors look like. Looks really, really pretty. I love the layout of it, how they have the matte and then the shimmer. I think it's a really functional layout and it pleases me. And they're different sizes because I'd more often use the matte than the shimmer. So I kind of love that layout. I think that's really unique and cool. All right, so we have the Stay You, Stay Naked. And this is from Urban Decay. They have their Stay Naked Weightless Foundation. We have their Stay Naked Concealer, you guys, already know my love <laughs> for the foundation. We don't need to go there in this video. And then these are two new products to me. We have their Stay Naked Threesome and the Stay Naked The Fix Powder. So I need to test those out, just came here. I feel like these kind of colors have been done before, you know, those kind of palettes. However, I'm curious to check out that powder, especially in conjunction with the other complexion products, which are like holy grail, all-time favorite status. So I'm really happy to have that. So that is officially the end of this video. Had the doorbell, two more packages, just made it into the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, playing around, swatching, and testing out all new beauty products that have released or will be releasing. Those MAC blushes that will be releasing, definitely check out the formula, is top notch. And I'm really excited for those personally. Ton of other stuff that I have tried out, already made it to a favorites, already love and I know you guys would love to. So check those out and that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.